Neodymium nitride or NDN, a rare earth compound scientists have studied for years, has revealed something surprising about how magnetism works. In this material, the main source of magnetism doesn't come from the usual electron spin, but from the way electrons move around the atom, their orbital motion. And this could change how we think about building future magnetic and quantum devices. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai and you're watching Pure Science. Now let's break this down simply. Electrons have two important properties that matter for magnetism. One is their spin, you can think of it like a tiny internal rotation. And the other is their orbit, which is the way they move around the nucleus, kind of like planets around the sun. In most magnetic material, it is the spin that does most of the work. The orbital part usually gets suppressed because of how atoms sit inside solids. But in this new study by the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research in Bengaluru, scientists found that in neodymium nitrite, the orbital motion is not just active, but it's actually dominant. Neodymium belongs to the rare earth family, also called the lanthanides. And these elements are special because of their 4F electrons. These electrons sit very close to the nucleus and don't move around the crystal freely like conduction electrons do. They are tightly held and strongly influenced by something called the spin orbit coupling, which is a quantum effect that links their spin and their orbital motion. Because of this, rare earth material often behave in strange and interesting ways. In this experiment, the researchers made very high quality thin film of neomidium nitrite. They grew them under ultra high vacuum conditions and carefully controlled the amounts of neodymium and nitrogen to ensure the structure was almost perfect. This level of precision was crucial because if the film had too many defects, the real physics would be buried under noise. Once the films were ready, the team cooled them down to about 4 Kelvin, just a few degrees above absolute zero. At this temperature, they measured their magnetic properties. The films showed clear ferromagnetism, meaning the tiny magnetic moments inside them line up in the same direction and stay that way even after an external magnetic field is removed. So far, that part looked fairly normal. But then came the deeper investigation. To understand where this magnetism was coming from, they used a technique called X-ray magnetic circular dichroism, or XMCD. This uses special X-rays from a synchrotron facility and allows scientists to separate the contribution from electron spin and electron orbital motion. What they found was remarkable. The orbital magnetic moment of the neodymium atoms was about 5.14 Bohr magnetons per atom. For context, that's very large. In many material, the orbital part is tiny or almost zero. But here, it's actually playing a significant role. The total magnetic moment of the material worked out to about 2.43 Bohr magnetons per formula unit at 4 Kelvin. And these experimental results closely matched advanced computer simulations using density functional theory. Now, why is this orbital effect so strong in NDN? To answer that, researchers studied the electronic structure of the material using synchrotron photoelectron spectroscopy. They discovered that the 4F electron of neodymium sit deep inside the material's energy structure, about 6.4 electron volts below the Fermi level. In simpler terms, these electrons are very strongly bound to their atom and don't mix much with the other electrons. Because of this, their orbital motion remains stable instead of getting washed out, and that's what gives rise to this strong orbital magnetism. While studying magnetic anisotropy, which just means that the magnetism prefers certain directions inside the crystal, the team also found that NDN had clear directional preferences. And this is again linked to the orbital motion of electrons interacting with the crystal structure. 
This is important because stable directional magnetism is essential if you want to build memory devices or magnetic components. So why does this matter beyond the lab? Most modern magnetic technologies, including spintronics and parts of quantum computing, are based on controlling electron spin. But this research shows there's another powerful option, controlling the electron orbit. This opens the door to a new field called orbitronics, where the future devices might use the orbital motion of electrons instead of or along with their spin. In theory, this could lead to faster, more energy efficient quantum and magnetic technology. But it is not going to be easy. Right now, these effects only show up clearly at extremely low temperatures. To make real devices, scientists would need to achieve something similar closer to room temperature. Also, growing such perfect thin films on a large scale is still a big technical challenge. And finally, controlling and reading out orbital states is more complex than working with spin, so new kinds of device engineering will be required. Still, this discovery is important both fundamentally and strategically. Neodymium is already widely used in high-performance magnets found in electric vehicles, wind turbines and many electronic devices. This research shows that neodymium-based compounds can also play a role in advanced quantum and magnetic technologies of the future. More than anything, it changes how we think about magnetism. It shows that magnetism in solids is not just about spins pointing up or down. It's also about how electrons move around their atoms, how their orbits behave, and how these quantum motions interact with the crystal they are part of. And that's what makes this discovery exciting. That was all from me this week. I will be back decoding more such exciting science discoveries on Pure Science.